Hello, and welcome to Drug Insight Hub. Today, we're discussing a major advancement in respiratory medicine. We'll explore non-cystic fibrosis bronchiectasis, a chronic lung condition, and introduce Brinsipri, the first FDA-approved therapy specifically for this disease. Non-cystic fibrosis bronchiectasis, or NCFB, is a long-term lung condition characterized by permanent widening and scarring of the airways. This structural damage leads to mucus accumulation, making it difficult to clear, resulting in persistent cough, recurrent respiratory infections, and progressive lung damage. In the United States alone, approximately 350,000 to 500,000 adults live with NCFB. The condition often results in declining lung function, reduced quality of life, and frequent hospital visits. Historically, NCFB has been managed with airway clearance techniques, inhaled therapies, and antibiotics to control infections. While these treatments can relieve symptoms, they do not address the underlying inflammation that drives disease progression. Consequently, patients often experience repeated exacerbations, hospitalizations, and a gradual decline in lung function, highlighting the urgent need for targeted therapies. In August 2025, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration approved Brinsupri, also known as Brinsocatib, as the first treatment specifically indicated for NCFB. Brinsupri is an oral once-daily medication designed to target the root cause of inflammation in this disease. Brinsupri is a first-in-class reversible inhibitor of dipeptidyl peptidase 1, or DPP-1. By blocking DPP-1, it prevents activation of neutrophil serine proteases, enzymes that contribute directly to airway inflammation and tissue damage in NCFB. This mechanism allows Brinsupri to address the underlying pathological process, not just the symptoms. The efficacy of Brinsupri was demonstrated in the Phase 3 Aspen trial which included over 1,700 patients. The study showed a 21% reduction in annual exacerbation rates, prolonged time to the first exacerbation, and more patients remaining exacerbation-free. Furthermore, Brinsupri slowed the decline in lung function, particularly at the 25 mg dose. These results represent a substantial advancement in the management of NCFB, providing patients with a therapy that targets the disease's underlying mechanism rather than simply managing symptoms. Brinsupri is administered once daily as an oral tablet, available in 10 mg and 25 mg strengths. Clinical trials showed it was generally well tolerated, with no major safety concerns reported. The most commonly observed side effects included gingival and periodontal issues. Patients should inform their healthcare provider of any recent live vaccinations or pregnancy, as Brinsupri's safety in these situations has not been established. The approval of Brinsupri represents a transformative moment for individuals living with NCFB. By targeting the underlying inflammation, it can reduce exacerbations, slow disease progression, and improve overall quality of life. For healthcare providers, Brin Supri offers a novel, disease-modifying option that goes beyond symptom management, enabling a more comprehensive approach to treating this chronic and challenging condition. In summary, non-cystic fibrosis bronchiectasis is a chronic and progressive lung disease that significantly impacts patients' lives. The FDA approval of Brinsupri provides a much-needed therapy that addresses the root cause of the disease, offering new hope for better outcomes. For more information about Brinsupri and non-cystic fibrosis bronchiectasis, consult your healthcare provider or visit the official website. Thank you for joining me today, and together, we can advance the care and treatment of those affected by this serious condition.